Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is where my ninth video and my fourth unboxing. And today's unboxing is going to be Wow Bow's acrylic mystery box. I was pleasantly surprised that when you opened the box there was like a proper parcel with, with gift wrapping paper. I thought that was nice instead of just an ordinary box with a bow on or something. So this is more like getting a proper parcel. And Wow Bow have been so brilliant so far. Um, I don't know if you watched my other videos, you'll see that I did have a complaint about one of the top coats. The brush was all stiff. And they, um, I let them know, as I said I would, and they immediately sent me another one, uh, a full bottle. So fantastic service and the brush was amazing. So yeah, full marks to them. So this is my first time getting acrylic from them. I already used their monomer but I haven't got any acrylics from them so it's really exciting opening up the box and it's nice that it's gift wrapped it's a nice big box I uh, haven't thought this through I haven't gone and got scissors so I'll be back in a second okay so I've cut it open so we can have a little rummage and see what's in there. It's really exciting. Okay, the first thing, bubble wrap, we have acrylic monomer, but it's not in a bottle. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. It's got a little lid Ooh. and there's nothing in it. Oh, it must be like their version of a dampened dish. I've, I've already bought a dampened dish from them, but <laughs> this is actually a good size. This is all right because, yeah, I like this. We can use this so I could have one for glitters and then I could have one for clear because if anyone's done acrylic, they'll know that when you're doing nails if you get any glitter on your brush and then go into the clear monomer it can wreck all your monomer so your monomer value for money can last longer so I can keep this for just clear then I can pop that on to stop it evaporating turn the lid and there's a screw top to make sure the monomer doesn't escape I actually think that's a brilliant idea I'm very happy with that also in the box is this huge, and I mean huge, beautiful powder called Crown Pinkle. That is amazing. Look at the size of that. Yeah, that is great. Let's open this up. we go it's got it's got a very 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 light sparkle to it like a shunkle more than a sparkle and it would be great as the main base coat or you know when you're doing half half that's really good oh wow happy with that I'll just put this back on when I've finished opening the box I am going to swatch these and then I will file them, shape them, and put top coat on so you can see the full effect of how it will look. I'm just trying to fasten this. There we go. Wow, I'm very pleased with that. That is amazing. And what else have we got? Another huge crown charms, this one's called. And again, it's it's... Look at my hand, it's massive. Open this up, see if this has got a little bit of jungle. This one's not quite as easy for me to open, there we go. Yes it has, it's like a, a peachy version of the other one, but it just has these very, very, the sun is just coming out, I wonder if you can catch that at all. Maybe not. 
very pretty. Wow, so two massive pots. You know, if you're a nail tech or someone that has lots of customers, you'll go down it quicker than I will, but just trying to get that level. So, cold them together, there you go. Amazing, right. And then we've got something else. Let's open it up. I like all their packaging and their thought that goes into things. Can't, I might have to cut this, I can't get into it. No, I use the scissors. I'm in. So you get a little case. That's very nice. I've no idea what's in there yet. It's a, I think, I'm fairly sure it's an acrylic cutter. I was eyeing up buying one of those, so I'm really, really happy that it's in the box. And I will try it as an acrylic cutter. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, so when you're doing, if you want to do a pattern down here and you just want to do acrylic to sort of do like a smile line there, you can do your acrylic and then before it goes too hard, you cut the shape that you want. And it's got a beautiful case to keep it all nice. So yeah, wow. And then, keeps coming, this lovely big box. And in it, I just think that's everything in that, yeah, that's everything in that box. So I'll move that and then we can see better. Just drop this down one second. There we go. So in this box, oh look, more acrylics, look at this. Wow. Okay, so we've got six coloured acrylics and this is the normal size so I can show you the difference now look this this is the normal size that I would get from different companies like um, Glitter Planet etc but just look at these two core powders look at the difference this is amazing value so you've got those two and now we've got six here as well so we've got a blue pink lovely colors I'm really liking these and like a silvery blue obviously um, people that have used acrylic understand that when you actually do the acrylic they can look a different color to they are to the to what they are in the pot so it will be interesting to see what they look like when I do the swatches and then the other three are a grey, a yellow, and a very, very rich, gorgeous purple, purpley pink. So I'm going to set them up to start swatching them, and then I'll continue with the video. Okay, I'm back. I was just having a minute just staring at everything I can't believe the value for money it's incredible and then I'm, I'm already getting ready to order the next month's mystery box it's just amazing right so I've got these out so that I can do a sample for you and what I'll do is I'll swatch each one and then stop the camera um, file away off camera because um, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm filing, I get in all kinds of different positions. So I'll file it, get it all nice and smooth, top coat it, and then come back. So um, first of all, I'm going to try the colors. So this, this new one that's just come, this box, I'm gonna keep this for the clear. And then the one that I bought here, um, I'm going to have for the colors, colors. So the first one is called Royal blue. I love the packaging and everything, it's great. Just, these are usually quite easy to take off, but maybe not with long nails. Can't 
I'll get this off. Oh, I see a little. There we go. Right, this is like a powdery blue and there is no shimmer in it. It's just a, a solid color, if you know what I mean. But we'll have a look what it looks like on. I've had my eye on this dish for a while. I can't believe I actually own it. It's brilliant. Just make sure my brush is saturated. Now I'm not a nail tech and no one has shown me how to put acrylic on, I've just watched videos. So any comments are welcome, good or bad, you can say what you want. I thought that went on really well for first coat. So as you can see, there's no sparkle. It's just a plain blue, but it's a lovely blue. I'll just add a little bit more. I don't work with very big beads like the experts do. quite happy with that that's two coats so the next time you see this one it will be filed and top coated so that's that one done the next powder acrylic powder is called love letter It's got two tops. Oh, and this one looks even more difficult. Oh, here we go. Wow. Okay. Look at that. That's beautiful. There's. N I don't think there's any shimmer. It looks like a just a solid colour. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm hoping it looks that bright when it goes on the nail. So let's soak my brush. Dab, dab, dab.
This is going on so beautifully. And it's not clinging to my brush either. I think that's a sign of a quality acrylic. I think someone said in one of the videos. See how it just melts onto the nail, it's just absolutely gorgeous, the, the quality's there definitely. Right, so that's that one done, and it is, look, it is the colour of the pot, because sometimes you can buy acrylic and I just thought that they were all the same, that you buy it and it doesn't look anything like the colour, but that one does, there it is. And that's not even filed, buffed and top coated yet, it's gorgeous. Right, on to the next one. Right, the next one is called Teal Shimmer. And in the sun, I'm trying to get it in the sun for you, but I don't know if that's working. It does have tiny little sparkles in, just a shimmery, shunkly goodness. Looks lovely. So this is Teal Shimmer, so let's see what it looks like on. So buttery gorgeous. That's just the first coat. I don't know if you call it coat when it's going to need much filing at all because they're just so beautiful. teal shimmer it's just the teensiest bit of sparkle if someone's liking sparkle but doesn't like full-on glitter type sparkle the next one is onyx just a one word name Ooh, this looks like you've got more glitter this looks chunky and fun there it goes, can you see all the lovely big pieces? And it's like a slate grey, I would say, with slaty grey <laughs> glitter. Let's have a look. Actually, I'll put a little bit more mono around my brush because I've got to get the glitter. So there we go. Let's see what this looks like. I try not to move it around too much because I don't want all the glitter pieces to move around. So I won't spread that down as much as I normally do. Again, comment below if I'm doing it all wrong for glitter, but this is this is how I like to do it. Just, oops, attack that too much at the side. 
side there. One more, and that will be this one done. This one will probably just come to life once the top coat's on. Well, they all do. Top coats is amazing. In general, top coat makes everything lovely. gone a little bit top heavy at the bottom there but there we go it is just a sample there we are the sun is out I'm trying to just catch it for you there back with the next one right the next one is dandelion and it's beautiful that's all I can say <laughs> it's yellow and it's got lots of different color sparkles in and it's just gorgeous I'm really going to enjoy wearing that in the Sun when we're out in the garden and the Sun's flashing on it let's see what it looks like here oh I dropped it oh I don't know if I can rescue that I can Told you I'm not an expert. It just blends in so nicely with the previous one. There's no gap sometimes with different ones. You can get gaps, but there's no gap. Beautiful. Just one more, just to get that depth of colour. Drag it down. I think that will do me. I'll just clean my brush off. Make sure the sides. There we go. That's dandelion. Oops. There. Okay, the last of the colours is Delight and it's a beautiful bright bright purple with silvery bits in or it looks it at the moment. Okay, right, um, I had to stop the video because I had a visitor. So what I've done now is I have top coated them all. So this is the final result of the nails. They're all absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'll bring them up to the camera one at a time. So hopefully you can see the prettiness. It's got like blue sparkles in it. easy to pick up now <laughs> that's like a slate grey like I said before and that's got little silvery sparkles the blue is like a denim blue and as far as I can see no sparkles the pink is like a bubblegum pink no sparkles this took me by surprise. It's got all colours. It's got, I'll try and get the greens and silvers, 
blues and golds. Can you see all the different colours? It's absolutely gorgeous. It would be great for party night. The yellow has like blue sparkles going through. No, I don't think that black one is part of it. <laughs> I think that's just my brush. And then you've got the two core powders, those big two pots. This one's peachy, definite goldy peachy running through. And then lastly, this is a very, very pale one. I thought it was pink, but it's sort of like an opaly, pinky with little blue tinges through. Really, really pretty. So yeah, all in all, amazing box amazing and i i'm going to definitely buy again and do another video um yeah there's nothing more i can say it's it's just amazing you you just get so much I just remind you you get all of these colors great big sizes there and then you've got the two big big pots of the two cores there the little acrylic monomer dish which i'm keeping my my clear liquid in there that's a really good idea and this wonderful little case it's really nicely made as well to keep that so I don't get that lost I think that's a brilliant idea as well it's very good company okay like and subscribe if you want to see more go back and watch the other videos um, I would really appreciate that um, yeah like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video Bye.